All right, what's going on guys? So I thought I'd give you guys a Q&A, something different on the channel, something I haven't done, and just kind of like another little change up, something to throw in there. So I went ahead and asked people on Instagram some questions they would have, they might have for me. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just jump right into it. All right, question number one, what is my favorite pre-workout and protein? Favorite pre, I would have to say, would probably be uh, that's tough. Probably the Mr. Hyde that I got has 420 milligrams of caffeine and like I don't need to say anymore. It kicks my ass. Uh, favorite protein? Definitely. Definitely. The Ghost uh, peanut butter cereal milk. Hands down. Not even close. Nothing's touching that. Let's see. Next question. Do I film every day? So the answer to that is no. Um, I might film two, three days in a row, then I pick up the camera for three, four days, just work on editing or anything else I have to get done. So not currently filming every day, but it would be nice to get to that point. How long does it take me to edit? Ooh, it depends. Um, I would say most of the week is spent editing. If I sat down and had all my footage, um, I could probably get it done in maybe like an eight hour time frame if I did it all in one day. So. It's quite a bit let's see what's my number one life goal that's a big question I don't I wouldn't say that like I have a number one life goal but to answer that I would say I don't I don't want to waste the potential that I see in myself the I don't want to let the work ethic desire drive passion ambition that I have go to waste if that makes sense all right next one do you eat ass uh what's the absolute hardest thing about prep i would say the hardest thing about prep is yeah the hardest thing is for me to keep my patience in check when being so damn hungry and being so tired especially at work um i have like a really really low tolerance for in general bullshit right now and that's 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 definitely the hardest thing how long will it be before i look as good as kaden thompson um hmm hmm you got about five inches on me height wise dude so i'm gonna have no issue saying my chest is bigger what body fat percent am I? Ah, I would guess, I would guess, I would guess. I don't know the exact amount and I was gonna get it tested before prep really got deep, but it's too late now. <laughs> uh, I would say between seven and 8%, something like that. At what point did you realize you wanted to be competitive? Um, Summer shredding, 2019. That entire prep, I, one, did it by myself. So there was a lot of error made. I was suffering, I was miserable. Much more so than I have been on this prep. Um, but that, and I, I was convinced, going to that show, I was never gonna do something like that, like this again. But, that all changed when I got there. Literally, I, I mean, here we go. Got goosebumps again. Can you see them? Hold up. Yep, you can see him. <laughs> that all changed once I got to the Alpha Lee Gym. Dude, the vibes in there are immaculate. Literally have never felt or experienced something like that in my life. The like the literal presence and vibes that I was feeling was just more than I can like describe. It was amazing. So that's really when it kind of became clear to me that okay, I, I wanna I wanna do this. This is for me. What's your biggest tip specifically for bodybuilders? Uh, man, train with some intensity. Train with intensity. Train with intensity. How do you operate so well in the little amount of sleep you get? Caffeine. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a simple answer right now, caffeine. What are a few things you look forward to getting back to doing after your prep is finished? All right, so, I'm really excited to start hanging out with my friends again. I can think of a handful of times right now over this prep that I've had like actual time where I've kicked it with my friends. It's been 
literally just a few times just because I'm one busy two if I do have some downtime I am too tired to like be be pleasant even um, let alone go drive half an hour to get to I live in the middle of nowhere <laughs> to get to hang out with somebody what are some good quotes or things you try to live by um, what was it that I posted the other day daily habits in line with the future you desire heard that one from Wes Watson that one has stuck with me because it makes complete and total sense there's so many people out there and including me not that long ago so I'm talking about really my very recent past self so many people out there that have a specific vision for themselves have a specific goal a specific life they want to live but the things they're doing day to day are completely counterproductive in getting them there if you break it down you will never get somewhere you're you, you're wanting to go without moving in that direction eliminating things that aren't serving you and creating positive habits to get there that it's very simple like and i'm very glad I, that quote stuck with me and resonated with me the way that it has because i think about that a lot especially when i don't want to do some shit. Mm, another one by wes watson wes wes watson this dude just drops dimes gold all the time but he said um when you don't want to do something it means that much more that you do it when i don't want to go to the gym when i feel like shit, it means so much more when i actually do it opposed to when it's just easy to go you know what is your goal for your future you have that doesn't involve lifting competing um very very immediate goal within the next six seven eight months moving to florida been something i've wanted to do for over 10 years now and it is it feels like the right time to do it so i am doing everything in my power right now to make that happen i can't think of anything else right now long term i kind of figuring shit out right now if i'm being completely honest how often should someone trying to lose weight do cardio all right so preferably ideally when you first start a dieting phase you want to do as little amount of cardio as possible you want to keep that threshold that your body is in a deficit at very low to begin with say you start off doing cardio six seven days a week where are you going to go once you start to plateau you need to start off maybe one day a week two days a week and start at a lower increment lower incline distance lower speed um, keep variables low so you can increase them over time to continue to see progress once you start to plateau because it will happen once you diet long enough when do you know how to adjust or lower your calories on a cut more i would say once you stop seeing that progress now there's different ways of doing it you might utilize a refeed you might utilize a diet break you might utilize a decrease or increase in cardio but when all of those variables have kind of been utilized and you're still not seeing any progress that's usually a good time to you know kind of drop the calories drop the macros best foods for bulking so that's a tricky question bulking cutting dieting all that there's not necessarily best and worst foods now there are foods that are going to make more sense technically i could bulk eating chick-fil-a and mcdonald's every day with that i'm going to gain a lot of fat and if i'm really following macros i'm going to be able to eat a lot less than if i were sticking to you know more nutritious foods more um calorie dense foods so to answer your question i would say for your carb sources you want to stick with rice potatoes um fruits vegetables those are going to be good sources that one are going to keep you full and two allow you to have a lot more food opposed to eating fucking cereal or something like that um protein wise oh, there's a lot of protein sources um you got chicken you got uh, various forms of steak you got fish shrimp chicken and fish are going to be your leanest sources opposed to steak but steak is good do you create nutritional and workout plans depending on people's goals and price? Uh, yeah, so I've been doing that for about two years now and I kind of backed off one because I'm on prep and didn't feel like that was something I could juggle um, both of those things equally. Two, I want to, I'm, I'm working on getting my certification after this prep and I have a basic foundation of, you know, how to help somebody reach their goals, lose body fat or gain muscle. but. 
me being completely honest, I want to get much more of a depth and foundation of knowledge, and I want to really dive into online coaching um, in, in the near future. So I'm giving myself some time to get some experience in, which this cut has done for me, and really, you know, get my knowledge up. Is drinking alcohol bad for your diet? Um, everything in moderation. Mo no. Most things in moderation. Uh... I would say it has no nutritional value. So when you're cutting, when you're cutting and trying to diet, yeah, it is. you're putting calories in your body that don't add to healthy bodily functions and aren't gonna assist in dropping fat, sustaining muscle, um, providing you energy. So everything, you know, just it depends on how serious your goals are, how hard you, you're attacking a diet. All right, so. That is going to wrap it up for the q and I didn't get a whole bunch of questions, but it was a nice little start. But, ah, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't. If you have any suggestions for future videos or you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. Or you can DM me and or give me a follow on Instagram at Devin Effinger underscore. And I will see you guys in the next video.